Brent here with Bring Your Own Tools, and on today's episode, if you want to see how we change this space into this, we'll keep on watching. Let's get started. Okay, let's be honest. I got a lot of tools. I've had tools, plethora of tools for a number of years, and I do try and organize them consistently on a regular basis, but no matter what, it doesn't look clean. It doesn't look professional. And I'm looking and going for a professional look on this channel, and this is not working out for me. So that's where wall control comes in. Now, this is wall control made in the US of A, high quality products. I met them recently at the WorkbenchCon trade show and they were awesome. And I can't wait to actually showcase their product because I'm not getting paid from them, but they did send me this free product and I cannot wait to install it. Let's get this bad boy open. Now the core of this entire system is the paneling system. I chose Galvanize because I just generally love the look as well as the fact that it fits perfectly in a garage, but there's a plethora of different colors as you can see. Now in the past, I've purchased a few different types of organization systems for the garage, but the things that stick out most within this system is the fact that it has a built-in ledge so you don't have to worry about the space between the panel and the wall behind it, as well as the fact that each clip has a very unique structure as far as stability purposes are concerned. A lot of systems that you see out there fit in nicely, but they don't stay in, as in if you take your tool off the rack and all of a sudden the hook flies out, it's because it's not supported properly. Just like this, one is very loose, one is very sturdy. Now if I hang up an item on it like so and I take it off, it can flip out at any moment in time. If I try and take this guy out, it's not going anywhere. That's what I like to see. Now comes the fun part, the disassembling portion of the project. And I say fun and joking, but inevitably it is going to be a lot faster to take this thing down than it is going to be putting everything back into place and making everything functional again. But it will be worth it in the end. I did have this bare drywall area that I wanted to make sure and cover up, and I'm just using some mold resistant paint because there is moisture in a garage, or at least in my garage, and I just want to make sure I'm careful. Now one tool that keeps on being used on my channel, which is inevitably the reason why it's so handy, is the level, as in the laser level. And again, you don't need to have one of these, you can just have a straight level and just draw a line, but it just makes life a lot easier, especially when making sure that things are lining up properly all the way across long spans. All you have to do, set it and forget it. Wasn't that like an info commercial back in the day? Like, uh... They cook turkeys in a small countertop oven. Anyways, I, I can't remember, but if you know it, just leave it in the comment section down below and I'll take a look and be reminded of my childhood. Now, as you can see, the system is extremely quick to install. All it is is six screws on each panel. And if you have backing behind the drywall, it makes this process even faster to fully install every single panel. Now, if you don't have backing, don't worry, we'll be discussing that shortly. These panels also come horizontally, so you can actually fit in multiple spaces all in the same span. And both the vertical and horizontal panels come 32 inches by 16 inches. Now in my case, and in most cases, you are gonna find yourself in an area where you have to actually install some type of drywall anchor because you don't have a stud. And they did send us these standard plastic anchors, but to be completely honest, I don't like these type of anchors. They don't work for me, and they never have, which is why I love these self-drilling drywall anchors. They're easy, you can easily remove them as well as install them at any point in time. They're much stronger in my opinion, and they work just better. So I will be leaving links in the description box below on where to actually purchase wall control products as well as these self-tapping drywall anchors. Now these panels are 20 gauge steel and after you fasten six bolts in them they are not going anywhere. I feel like I could do pull-ups on these things even if I wanted to. You know pull-ups have been somewhat of a theme on this channel for the past couple weeks but we'll leave that maybe for the outtakes. Maybe. Now this is our whole little system. Look at all these beautiful little attachments. We have some screwdriver attachments, plenty of hooks, different types of hooks. 
U-shaped hooks, these guys, shelves, others, long hooks. Also some funner stuff along the way as long as, as well as some shelves, even a uh, paper towel holder. So let's put this thing together. Now, as I said before, the hooks for the accessory points are extremely strong and secure with each type of panel system. Sometimes it is a bit of a tricky point to try and get in there nice and tight the very first time, but they do fit and once they fit in properly, they are not gonna be moving anytime soon. Now there's a multitude of reasons why that's important, but namely, this is a garage, it's for tools. I'm not a gentle person in general, and therefore I'm not gonna be gentle with this thing. So we will see how it holds up over time, but from first glances, these things are well-made powder-coated products and they will not be scratching easily. Now, once we have everything in place, you can then start bringing in your tools. And this is time where you just basically have to figure out where you want your arrangement to go. And you might have to move things around. It's basically like a big game of Tetris, trying to fit everything into place properly the first couple times. Now, all these accessories do come in more than just blue. They come in multiple colors, just like the panels. But also note that I didn't get every single assortment piece you possibly could get with this system. The amount of options they have on their website are seemingly endless, and therefore we can only do so much with this space. I don't know about you, but personally, after I'm doing all this type of organization, it really has a calming effect because I do have a lot of tools and I do try and organize, but having an entire system like this that fully organizes every single piece in your garage not only adds an aesthetic eye and balance to your entire shop, but you're also not saying to yourself, where is that sander? I thought I saw it there. I put it there. Where is it now? What's going on? You're not having that moment. Do we, do we have those moments? But I don't know, I do sometimes. This is a project that I absolutely love just because the fact that it's a project that you can get done within a day and it completely transforms your workflow and the appeal of your entire garage space. Whether it's the little pieces and knickknacks that you don't know where you want to put them but inevitably you find a perfect spot for them as well as the fact that you can come in your garage and you can find that exact tool that you want. And that's what I call one beautiful sexy beast. Oh yeah. That is one beautiful sexy beast of a wall paneling system, but now I have to deal with all of this. Oh boy, this'll be fun.